welcome. Pampas grass. Apparently, in the 70s, pampas grass, if you had pampas grass in the garden, that would indicate that you were a swinger. Okay, it's not the stuff they uh, stuff nappies with. Yeah. No, it's not the stuff that they stuff nappies with. It's pampas grass, not pampas grass. If you've seen John Wyndham stuff, there's fungus like this grows all over the place, except on green stuff. I see there's no green there's green stuff. It's not growing on that. Mustn't mustn't touch this fungus. Because we'll all die and get mouldy and it'll be really awful. I can't actually remember the name of the uh, the John Wyndham thing that it's from. But it's scary. Creepy house. Creepy house. It's Elm Grove. It's nightmare on Elm Grove. The site's of Peckham. Here's the local Lidl very good shot. That in the background with the clock, the clock tower, is where there was a stabbing a couple of years ago. So that's quite a famous place really. There was a nightclub there. There still is a nightclub there. And that's a siren in the background. One of many. You hear it. It's going quite a long siren. Maybe there's another stabbing there. It's not ending. It's like a never-ending siren. It's coming closer. It's everywhere. <laughs> I just stop noticing sirens a lot of the time though because they're there all the time. This is called Ophir Terrace. What's in Ophir Terrace? Lidl. There's nothing. There's no terrace. It's a lie. Fly tippers will be prosecuted, but there's no terrace. Peckham Library. Here's where they actually film Teletubbies. It is. Or it's a plague pit, I'm not sure. I have absolutely no clue what that is, but it's a bit disturbing. Look, there's more. That thing I said with the John Wyndham, where everything goes mouldy. What on earth is happening? It's everywhere. What is it? The horror. Some sort of rabbit, rabbit droppings, rabbit. <laughs> A weird, this is Teletubby detritus. I'm standing in the middle of a canal at the moment. It doesn't look much like a canal, but look, it is a canal. It's a bit dried up and stuff. The fact that I'm not getting wet is a bit of a giveaway that there's no canal here anymore, but it was a canal. Probably. Whoa! I'm floating underneath the bridge. They should put the canal back. Oh look. This stone was laid by E. Dressler Roller Esquire, Chairman of the General Purpose Committee. 1872. It's just a pigeon here now. This is Boathouse Walk. So I would be standing, I presume, in the middle of the canal basin. Just here where I am, there would have been canal boats, and now there's a tree. If this was a hundred years ago, I would have already drowned by now. See a fig tree, because this is actually the Garden of Eden, which is where originally the Garden of Eden was, is Peckham. So you see, if I do this, and take a fig off the fig tree, 
and eat it, which I'm not going to do because it's all... As you can see, it is paradise on earth. Who would want to leave here? This is a tyre tree. There's a lovely juicy tyre just hanging from one of the branches there. Mm, it's almost right. A lovely folly of Burgess Park. Uh, as you can see, it was designed in 1823 to encompass all the, the best parts of Peckham. The broken windows, you see, the pigeons, and the Eastern European architecture. It's a truly wondrous example of the genre. This is Peter Daniel Marseille. And we're going to be travelling the byways of the the Peckham Parkways, the parkways of the Beckham Beckham Pieways, or or that. See, he's got a camera. It's much better than my camera. Yes. What's your name on username on? The Padam. The Padam. T H E P A. I can spell that. <laughs> oh, P T H E P A D A M. Cool. Mm -hmm. Have you got anything else to say? Yeah, I was... no. So I bit into the fig, and obviously seeing it's not ripe, and it's not actually grown properly, it just tastes like... well, it was horrible. So I had to spit it out. But it's too late now, I have to leave the Garden of Eden, also known as Burgess Park. I don't know whether that sign means we're 22 miles from London because I've walked well out of my way if we are or whether that's just 22 on the route map I don't know what route map, I'm not really a cyclist so. Over there is a wonky tree it's all knobbly it looks a bit weird I think it might be a London plane in which case it's a good job they've cut all the leaves off because the leaves are evil this is the history of the Surrey Canal Walk. You can see, used to be horse-drawn badges. And illegal dog racing, ooh. And I'm not really reading this properly. Gulder Rose, there you go, loads of white dead nettle. Actually, there's loads of, look, look, plums. I didn't see any plums. Cherry plums, ooh, teasels. It's very exciting. Little now remains of the canal except Willowbrook and Commercial Way bridges. Yes, they're still there. That's exciting, isn't it? That's a library. You can't really tell that it's the library from that. And that's a little picture of it. Ooh. Scenic cycle route number 22. See, it wasn't the number of miles from London. That would have been weird. Now, because I've eaten the fig, I have to leave Surrey Gardens. And oh no, I'm in Burgess Park. I've left the Garden of Eden. Also known as Teletubby Land. Also known as a big canal. Also known as a big plague pit. I don't think it was really a plague pit though. It was obviously Teletubby Land though. 